So in the previous video, we looked into number of variables and in this video, we're going to check uh, string variables a bit more. So what I got here is I'm defining my string variable with nothing and I'm doing an, a note in this button, uh, outputting my string variable. Uh, if I do check my variable, there's a note with nothing in it. So they work very like the number variables, but you don't have all those options of var de decrement, var increment, var multiply, obviously, if you're using text in there. I can actually, I can actually do multiplication and stuff like that with a string variable if I set my variable as a number. For example, if I say a var set my variable to be 5 and I then do a var multiplication of my string variable, do a 2 here, and if I do that, this is not even going to load the button, okay, because it is giving me an error. It's trying to, you're trying to multiply a string with a number, and if I do this and I reload, there's no button there either way. But if I do something like this, var set my string var, my string var plus five. If I do this, then I do get an addition. Of course, strings are not usually used for this kind of stuff, but you can use it if you do it like this.